Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given exponential equation whose uh, exponents are fractions as you can see in this equation. And here's our equation x power 5 over 3 plus 3 x power 4 over 3 minus 10 x equal to 0 and we are going to solve for x. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's go ahead and manipulate these exponents. Let's focus on this exponent 5 over 3. And here I have copied down this fraction 5 divided by 3. And this could be written as 1 plus 2 divided by 3. So therefore this x power 5 over 3 now could be written as x power 1 plus 2 third. And now this could be written as this one x power 1 times x power 2 third by using this product rule. And this in turn could be written as x times x power 2 third. Now let's go ahead and replace this x power 5 over 3 by this simplified form. So I can write this thing as x times x power 2 third. And now let's focus on this next exponent 4 divided by 3. And here I have copied down 4 divided by 3 which could be written as 1 plus 1 third. So therefore this x power 4 divided by 3 over here could be written as x power 1 plus 1 third. And now we are going to use this product rule once again. Therefore this could be written as in this form and this in turn could be written as x times x power 1 over 3. So therefore I am going to replace this x power 4 third by this uh, simplified form. So therefore let's go ahead and write down plus uh, 3 times uh, x and then times x power 1 third and finally minus 10x equals to 0. And now we can see that x over here x and x they are in common so we can factor them out. So therefore I can factor out x outside and inside bracket this could be written as x power 2 third and then plus uh, 3 times x power 1 third and then minus 10 equals to 0. And now we can see that we have these two factors x is one of the factors and this factor equal to 0. So we can separate them. So we can write this one as x equal to 0 or this other part I can write x power 2 third and then plus 3 x power 1 third and then minus 10 equals to 0. And here we can see that x equal to 0 turns out to be our one of the solutions. And now let's focus on this equation to solve for x. And now let's focus on this x power 2 third. And here I have copied it down and this let's go ahead and tweak this exponent. I can write this exponent x power this 2 times 1 third. Now let's recall this power rule according to this rule we can write this one in terms of uh, nested exponents. I can write x power 1 over 3 and then a whole power 2. Therefore I can replace this x power 2 third by this nested exponent. I can write this one x power 1 third and then whole power 2 and then plus 3x uh, power 1 third minus 10 equals to 0. And now in the next step we want to make things simple so let's go ahead and focus on this x power 1 third and x power 1 third. Let me call this, uh, let me use a substitution method. Let me call u equals to 
x power 1 over 3. So therefore, our this equation is going to become in terms of u as u square plus 3u minus 10 equal to 0. And now we can see that this is a quadratic equation and we are going to solve this by factoring method by grouping as well. So let's uh, tweak this part. This uh, 3u could be written as uh, 5u minus uh, 2u. So therefore I can write this one u square plus uh, 5u minus 2u minus 10 equal to 0 and now we can see between these first two terms we can see that u is in common and this next two terms negative 2 is in common let's go ahead and factor out u over here so we got u plus 5 and here we can factor out negative 2 so we ended up with u plus 5 inside the parentheses equals to 0 and now we can see that this u plus 5 and u plus 5 is in common so we can factor it out so we can write this one as u plus 5 times u minus 2 equals to 0 and here we have a two factors equal to 0 let's go ahead and separate them I can write u plus 5 equal to 0 and the other factor is u minus 2 equal to 0. So that means our u value turns out to be negative 5 and the other u value turns out to be positive 2. Here's our next step. Let's focus on this case 1 when our u value is negative 5 and we know u is equal to x power 1 over 3 therefore I'm going to replace this u by x power 1 over 3 equals to negative 5 let's go ahead and take power 3 on both sides so this one third and 3 cancel each other out so our x value is going to be negative 5 power 3 means we're going to multiply it three times so that is going to give us negative 125 so this is our another x value and here's our case 2 when we're going to be using u equals to 2 value but we know u equals to x power 1 over 3 so therefore i'm going to replace u by x power 1 over 3 equals to 2 let's go ahead and take power 3 on both sides so this 3 and 1 third is gone so our x value turns out to be a 2 power 3 equals to 8 and thus here's our solution and our x values are 0 negative 125 and 8 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye